Hi, I'm Susie Rhodes with Pass Masters. Welcome to Math Made Easy. This video is going to cover the concept of yield. Yield will help you with your SIE exam, Series 7, Series 65, and Series 66. Let's look at what is yield. Yield looks at what you received over the last year as a percentage of what you paid for the security. So it's different from current yield. Be careful. Yield on a stock would be the sum of the previous four quarters dividends, so annual dividends, divided by what you paid for the stock. Yield on a bond would be annual interest divided by what you paid for the bond. Let's practice some questions here. An investor purchased a bond with a 5% nominal yield at par value 10 years ago. The bond is currently trading at 120 points. What is the formula for the investor's yield? Did you notice they gave you information to be able to answer the question current yield? But that's not what they asked you. So the test loves to trick you. They love to give you information that is irrelevant. So be careful when you read the question to disregard information that is not helpful to the actual question. So the investor's yield, well, what is the annual interest on this bond? 5% of par value is $50. So $50 divided by $1,200 or what they paid for the bond. What they paid for the bond, this question after all, is for the investor's yield. So $50 divided by, it says they bought the bond at par value. Par value on a corporate bond is $1,000. So be careful. Don't get tricked. So what is it mathematically? I know it doesn't ask you that, but what is it? $50 divided by $1,000 is 5%. So the investor's yield is equal to the nominal yield. It was purchased at par. If it wasn't purchased at par, then that would not have been true, but it was purchased at par. Let me ask, is the bond in the secondary market trading at a premium or at a discount? It's trading at a premium, which means interest rates in the economy must have gone down. There's an inverse relationship between interest rates and current market price. If the current market price is higher than par, then interest rates have gone down relative to this bond's 5% nominal yield. What would the current yield be? What would you do? You'd take $50 divided by 1200 So always use that basic non-programmable calculator that they give you at the test center, or sometimes the computer itself that you're taking the test on has a calculator. So 50 divided by $1,200, because even though I'm an accountant, I can't do math without a calculator. I am an accountant. It's 4.166666, so we'll say 4.17. Now think about that for a second. Does it make sense? If the market price is higher than par, which it is, current yield should be what? More or less than the nominal yield of five. It should be less. 4.17 is less. I know that's not the question, but because these concepts are so close together, I want you to understand if they had asked the current yield question how to do that as well. What is the formula for an investor's yield? Yield divided by what was paid, Growth divided by what was paid, yield plus growth divided by what was paid, or yield divided by current market price. Investor's yield is yield divided by what was paid. So whether or not it's a stock or a bond, whatever the investor's cost for the security was. Yield on a stock is dividends. Yield on a bond is interest. So we're looking at annual dividends, annual interest divided by what was paid, the investor's yield. 
Last question. Alfredo purchased company XYZ's stock at 50. The stock has paid $2 in dividends over the last year. Company XYZ stock is currently trading at 67.26. So stocks trade in dollars and cents, so that's $67.26. What is the investor's yield? So what did he get? $2 divided by what? Current market price or by what he paid for the stock? By what he paid for the stock. $2 divided by 50 is 4%. Double check, use your calculator if you don't trust me. Sometimes I don't trust myself either. $2 divided by 50 is 0.04, so 4%. So if it had asked for current yield, then it would have been a different numbers in that formula. Then it would have been $2 divided by what? 67.26, so let's check that out. $2 divided by 67.26 equals 2.97, so we'll just round that up to 3%. 3% would have been the answer if it had asked you for current yield, but it didn't in this question. This topic was about investor's yield, or what I sometimes refer to as plain old yield. So be very careful. The test loves to give you the information regarding the current market price to throw you off. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn those notifications on. If you have any questions at all related to this topic or the securities exams in general, ask me in the comments below. If you would like to check out Past Masters course offerings or to enroll in any of our programs, there is a link found in this video's description. Great job! Keep up the good work. I hope to have you as a student soon. Happy studies. You got this.